So, real quick Pikmin overview. Reds, do, like the moves are the same, uh, with like one exception that I'll get to, and they just do slightly different things. Reds, a little extra damage, lose a little extra grab range and knockback. Yellows are, that was weird. Uh, yellows are slightly more range and speed on aerials. Whites are weaker and have less knockback, but will flower your opponent. And if you throw them, in the, that latch on is a ton of damage. And then purples do extra knockback. And if you throw purples in side B, they are hitboxes. They are like, not latch on, they are that's physical a, rocks. That's a big thing. That, that purple side B is so good. You can, if, you, if they let you, and it, pur the purple side B hits like the very end of its arc, you can confirm a grab. I was going to say, on I've been shield. hit by side B grabs. Mo oh, I've been hit by side B grab off shield too, but on shield, that makes sense. It's one of the best moves in the game, unironically. It has very low end lag, but you are also risking your purple. The Pikmin can be hit. And they do have health. I'm gonna make sure they do. Go for it. The Pikmin can be hit when they're not in active frames. And the purple's the chunkiest one, but it's also the one you throw the most. No contest. Give me. Hey, no, 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 you want them to ask, Hannah. You don't want them to assume anything. I guess. I'm almost it's always on top of it. Nothing, nothing against you at all, just like, you don't want the player start to like run the stream. <laughs> like, yeah, we're probably good to go. They've hit record, right? <laughs> that idiot on commentary is probably done explaining Olimar. <laughs> All right, live from the scene, it's Steven. Okay. There were some words in there, Hannah. I have a Tech Bash shirt, too. I took the 100 shirt. Oh, I don't want any more. I don't know where I went. I still have the, I think I, I don't have the Houston one either. Oh, I lost. Dang. I guess I lost it in the move at some point. I moved a lot. I wonder if I can put this in my car. Yes. Yeah, Shannon yes. never finished it. Yeah. He got his money. I know where the image is. I have the image. Wait, he finished the image? It's not finished, but there's like, it's like nine, it's like 75% done. There's oh. like most of the characters are in there. Well, now it's just kind of depressing. Yeah. <laughs> I have an like, unimaged oh, finish yeah. of the Houston. The best Marth in town. Heck, Taz? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got the sheet oh, picture. That's all I know. I just thought of something else, too. Okay, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get dinner. We'll get dinner. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't know. It. I played. <laughs> played the hell out of that card game. I beat Wilkie up every week, multiple times a week, <laughs> and he paid me McDonald's for it. Will. That's a my McMoney matches. McMoney matches. One hundred percent success rate. My McMoney matches. Uh. <laughs> Back to the match. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Houston's ru Houston rules, dude. Houston's, yeah. Yeah, this is an oral history of how <laughs> rad I am at the Zatchville trading card game. Smashville, <laughs> the classic PM star. Zatchville sounds like a, like a teen Ooh. star. So the, the <laughs> 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 Zatch, Zatchville has a Disney show. Yeah. <laughs> the sweet life of Zatchville. Right. <laughs> the sweet, the sweet life, life of Zatchville. All right, anyways. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> this looks not fun for Olimar, actually. Yeah, you get out range kind of hard unless you have, like, flowered yellows. Yeah, well, and if you're just not careful, like, she'll just have a hitbox out, and I feel like it's just going to beat your Pikmin a lot of the time. Yeah, um, the Pikmin are disjointed, but they and they're, they don't take damage during their active frames, but, I, like... I guess I'm thinking of, like, the throws. Like, you throw the Pikmin, and she's like, oh, I'm forward smashing. Goodbye, Pikmin. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she can do that if she wants, but you don't really get a lot of value out of throwing most of them, except for purple. Okay, but Naira's love exists. I mean, yeah... If a Pikmin is on you, I just hit neutral B, right? Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of moves actually, so the Pikmin have a few different latch points. I'm not going to get into it, but yeah. like, some characters have a weirdly awkward time of like hitting all their latch points. Mm -hmm. Like, Olimar has to jab. Not on tilt, not nair, but jab to oh. hit all of his latch points. Interesting. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Naru's <laughs> Nair's 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 love just covers them all. It is a blue trapezoid. Is it a D8? Is Naru's love a D8? <laughs> it doesn't roll though, so it's a, it's a top. Do D8s roll, or do they just kind of, like, exist? Yeah. Ooh, but no wiggle out, Kane's but... Kane's doing a good job. It's down. That, see, now that some time has passed, these Pikmin have flowered. Unironically, there are plants that are getting better. Ooh! 
So their their traits get a little better, like, and then their general damage get a little better if they've been alive for like 20, say, 30 what, seconds. What all changes? Is it just, it's just damage? Just damage. And, is it knockback too? Um, for yellows and whites, their extra stuff gets um, it's it's not compensated on damage. So it is more knockback as well, I believe. Okay, more knockback. Got for it. yellows and whites, yellows get a little more range and a little faster. Fully flowered yellow, unironically, is one of the best characters in the game. Like four is like frame yellow. three. Wow. It hits like it's like Marth Fair, but like it's into a wave. And yeah. it is frame three and completely destroyed it. Ooh, great nice. pursuit. Uh, and then whites will do a lot more damage. Yeah, and they whites, will flower you whites hit. Rack up. Okay. Yeah, throw in that purple. You gotta enforce it sometimes. Looks like yeah, Zelda teleport is not hit. I was gonna say, point. okay, so You would assume <laughs> what it might Swacky. also inter what's interesting is there's something about when she's moving, like her hitbox is still there or something similar to that. I need to... Delta Teleport is a weird move that behaves very strangely sometimes as to when she is vulnerable in it, even though her animation is not there. Ooh. And I wonder if you attach a Pikmin before she teleports, is it still attached when she comes out? I have no idea. That is a, that's a crunchy question. Yeah. Because the thing about teleport is it's actually better to hit her on teleport when she starts to teleport because that startup is really long, actually. Ooh. And she's still, and you can hit her out of it pretty easily. Especially so thinking, in the air. Yeah. yeah, yeah, especially in the air. So I'm thinking that, like, Ooh. the Pikmin could get caught as she's doing the teleport and then potentially still be on her post-teleport. Catches. Ooh. That's a great pickup. And then yeah. yeah, it just gets 46. Yeah. That, that was a very smash. safe and restrained combo. Off of an up smash. Yep. Ooh. That's the risk, though. If you go out there to get teleport and you don't, she gets back on stage for free. So you still kind of have to do it. Yeah. But it is your best chance to hit her, but you are committing a lot to it. Yep. All right. Yep. Forcing the on stage recovery. Ooh, whips the move. Yep. Bye. No problem. Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. And that throw will do it. Yeah. Yeah. I sponsored two children for the event. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, they were trying to do like cash into cash out, but they were having issues. I was like, just take the money. I would like them to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you maybe leave with that and don't tell you I sponsor children. No, nah, I sponsored <laughs> them. They better have put PL next to their name <laughs> on the tag. PL child. Yeah, PL kid. PL kid. I taught a Bowser how to crouch cancel. Oh, you monster. <laughs> He's going to beat right. all his friends. Speaking of monster, yeah. Uh, CP9 really didn't take much damage to the stock. Yeah, he brought this back because he was down for a while. And this is, yep, just like you said, you got to go out there. Yeah. Ooh, the fireball saving! That, oh, that's VI very far away. Ooh! Still has enough drift! That move has crazy drift now. Good. He deserves it. Honestly! No, he really deserves it. That move was so bad. Yeah, All like, right. when Falcon has a better recovery than you. Yeah. All right. Tuxedo needs to clean this up. This is a very slow-paced game. They yeah. Both yeah, you're down to two and a half minutes here. Yeah. Which is not really a threat of a timeout, but it's like, you know, you're getting down there. Ooh, you've been no playing jump. for five minutes and we still have a stock left. Yeah, both these characters have a lot of, ooh, good job fastballing. A lot of damage potential. Uh, ability to rack up damage. Yeah. And then cash ooh, out on nice. it very quickly yeah. with a single aerial. She's eyes. I did not. <laughs> oh, when, when he, he gets hit by the Pikmin, his eyes opened up and it froze on that frame. <laughs> He always oh purple and yellow he'd be top ten. Is that the oh the Lakers? He'd be top ten like unironically. <laughs> yeah, you don't need the other one. Like yellow is so good when it's flowered that you have multiple players who play Olimar. There's some of the literally the best Olimar players in the world. Go hey, you know what? Maybe we just want one yellow Pikmin. Yeah, single flower yellow. Yeah, that's the, that's that's the optimal sniffing. strategy. Yes. Yeah. Like. It's it's kind of a joke, but then you look at it like, wait. Yeah. In some matchups, unironically, though. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't quite get the kick. No. Oh, but it gets Accidentally throw out a fair, yeah. Oh, that was funky all around, yeah. Yeah. You know, red is like the first main Pikmin, but kind of, it feels like the one that has the least use. 
I guess it's just kind of an all-around Pikmin. Like, it is extra damage, and that damage will add up. Yeah, that's fair. Because it's like, I think it's 1% extra, and then it gets to be either like 3, 5, or like just stays at 1. What was that? <laughs> that was red up there. Yeah. <laughs> that extra damage is not, not, yeah, not compensated. Yeah, I, I like, it's a good. It's, that, was a, that was a clean stock, actually. It only took 13. Wouldn't it just be compensated damage? Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess I'm, I'm sure they figured it out on their end, but like. Well, I've, 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 you've been saying not not compensated, correct? Um, I mean, I don't I don't think it's less knockback. Yeah. I know reds actually do more knockback than purples at low percent. Huh. Because purples gain more growth and a little okay, more. Okay, that makes more sense. More base knockback on reds. Yeah. Ooh, is this Down it? Not no, quite. Can't go, I can't go high can't enough. Can't get up there. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh but a good, little obvious good. with that ledge. Yeah, good ledge joint. And ZP9 sneaks it. Ooh. Back hit of down smash. That's a pretty safe thing. You're not going to get punished too hard for that. All right. Oh, yeah, Alomar's ledge dash is also like 14 for some reason. Yeah. He just has the best, one of the best ledge dashes in the game <laughs> for such a silly little boy. I got you. He's a good character. He's, pr he's pretty solid, honestly, now. Yeah, now he's pretty solid. Ooh! Not quite Kick him in his astronaut he helmet. Definitely make it back. Kind of weird move choice for down air there. I was curious. I guess Zelda doesn't really want to just go to ledge. Um, Cause you can't really do a ton off of ledge necessarily. Yeah, you have to kick. Yeah. Ooh, or or Nair. But Nair doesn't kill. And he's, yeah. now he's landed again. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Drift too much. This is the part where I lie and say that Wispy did it. But that Wispy only affects grounded opponents. Why do we still have Wispy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Tuxedo doesn't. Yeah. Tuxedo has one stock left. Yeah. Gets that knockdown. Oh, right. Tuxedo's running in a little bit much. But against a yellow purple Olimar, you really have to make it happen yeah, they yourself. Are. Here's the Lakers. Laker Olimar's a good character. This is really good, yeah. This is rough. You've got to get rid of them too. Ooh. And and it can be kind of hard to, if they're not throwing their Pikmin, it can be really hard to get rid of the Pikmin. Yeah, because you can't hit them until they're end lag. Yeah. Uh, thank you, people us. <laughs> yeah, like Bowser can still armor through and then hit them with like down smash, but you can't just Put out a hitbox and then destroy and their aerial them, yeah. mid attack. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice. That is a pretty good up smash. Uh, not huge, but damage wise, you get a flower purple Zelda on a, fl a float, even on Dreamlight, yeah. she's gone, gone. Can you uh, can you do like early up smash combos like in other games? Um, not as consistently as alt, but you can do it against them. Well, you've been uh, you can do it in brawl too. Uh, oh, really? Like up smash, yeah. Down throw up smash. Uh, you can do up smash up air. You yeah. kind of rather not. Like against fast followers, you can because mm -hmm. your up throws won't chain grab. Yeah. Um, you actually need blues to chain grab, which is very funny because it's like what? They're That's expecting the chain grab on the second one and then they just don't. Huh. Oh, yeah, because you can only get one chain grab and then you have another yeah. Pikmin unless it's also blue. It's a really fun way to limit them. <laughs> Almar actually has chain grabs on some of the midways too without blues. All right, FD. But then I if you get a blue, do you lose the chain grab? Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what an unfortunate thing. Like it's definitely cool. I think it's interesting, unique. Unfortunate. It's though. like it's an Olimar. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's an Olimar thing. Gets this. Okay, gets that string. String is over. Yeah, I mean, Chris, CP9 doesn't really have to do anything here. His Pikmin are getting better over time. And a lot of the times, he doesn't have to be near as precise to win these scraps. He has, oh, he has two yellows and a purple. Yeah, I was just thinking about how, like, we were talking about that first game going a while. That actually pays off for Omar. You know, similar to, like, Wario getting lost. You're getting you're getting flowers. Oh, yeah. The longer the game takes, you're getting flowers, which is a big thing. Yeah. Like, CP9 does not have much reason to, like, force it. Yeah. He could just sit there and let his Pikmin get better. Oh, that yellow got messed up. No, you living, though. Okay. Oh, yeah, the shield's kill not him. Be enough. Oh, I wanted the red to, to explode and kill it, him. Uh, only the whites explode. <laughs> okay, got it. It's not Brawl Minus. No, it is, no, it's not Brawl Minus, <laughs> despite what some people may say. So that was an example of a up smash combo. Yeah, so you do have some low percent up smash combos. Two yellows and a purple. This Tuxedo is Tuxedo needs to take this stock. Yeah. It's, okay, one's dead at least. Yeah. Uh, start up. But see, he doesn't even want to pull anymore at this point. There's oh, no you reason. literally don't. Yeah, no, you just want this. Yeah, one, one easy way to tell when um, the pick one are flowered. Ooh, great ledge grab. Wow. Uh, is when they start doing their elemental effects. Red and yellow will start doing their effects. Like um, on hit? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh! What? That was... That okay. hit his little I, I was going to say, it hit his hand because he fared, I think. I, that, that had to have extended that hitbox. Yeah. The fair itself might be disjointed, but his hands still swing forward. Yeah, note that CP9 is not going for... Oh, yeah, that's it. Is not going for that many more pulls. 
Yeah. Well, now between stocks he is, but yeah. Once you get a good lineup, it feels like you. I mean, even, even if you only have two or three, like as if they're good ones, there's no reason. Right there, he had red and blue, and that represents a strike, a strike kill with an aerial, <laughs> and a grab kill with blue. So like, it's it's really all you need sometimes. Ooh, the little dash back. Yeah, there you go. Oh good. Hit him out of the up in and it killed him. Yeah, you're going for that angle. You're holding not helping in. Tell you that much. And there's some passive damage when those get lashed on. Attack's going to the side beat a little too much, I think. Like, it's not really getting him alive. It's not a character that, like, has a hard time hitting that. All our aerials are very C-sticky. Yeah. They go where they point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Omar is almost a great beginner character because you can just kind of <laughs> you can just kind of hit the C stick in the direction of the enemy and they will die. But then you have to worry about Pikmin. If yeah, and if you don't, your moves are inconsistent. Yeah, if you did not have to worry about Pikmin, he'd be the best beginner character. Well, that pull in between, and he gets a yellow. Let's oh, go. this is looking this bad. Because he's got the purple for the kills. He's got blue for throws here. It doesn't matter though. Yeah. And yellow for neutral. Okay. And pretty good knockback. Okay. All right. If we do not care about doubles grands on stream, the winner's final should happen now. Yeah. Um, I will go ahead and check with that then. Actually, can you check? Okay. I'll hang out. How are y'all doing? What are they doing? Oh, they can't count to three. Here. Let me go ahead and bring this up.